Hey guys, it's Nick from bonbonsai.com and today I'm going to talk about bonsai plant care. Now before I get started, I wanted to tell you about my bonsai ebook. So if you're interested in learning how to prune, trim, and sculpt a bonsai, then go to the link above at bonbonsai.com forward slash bonsai book. Moving on to the topic of today, bonsai plants are very similar to bonsai trees. Insofar as you give them a lot of care and attention and you keep them healthy, you know, and you'll get a beautiful miniature plant in return. There are many different varieties of plant that you can use to create bonsai plants. Some plants require very precise care routines to maintain a healthy and aesthetically pleasing plant. But regardless of what breed of plant you are using, there are some basic guidelines to follow that will keep your plant in top, tip top condition. All of these tips will be very dependent on the type of plant you buy, but these are meant as rough guides only. So the first is temperature. Indoor bonsai plants will need protection from the elements during cold weather because many of them are tropical or subtropical plants. The most effective form of protection is bringing them indoors. However, if you're planting a bonsai outdoors, you should plant them somewhere where they are protected from wintry conditions. Alternatively, it does a plant a lot of good if you plant them out, uh, or if, yeah, if you put them out for some warm weather when the risk of frost is gone completely. The humidity indoors can cause dehydration of bonsai plants, which is the biggest killer of these timid plants. Second, watering. It's important to water bonsai early in the day before the temperature lowers in the evening. The type of plant you will uh, you have will determine the watering regime you need to undertake. How much moisture the plant needs is very is you know extremely important and should always water the soil as thoroughly as possible to ensure that all the roots get a good water. The third is light. Because the sun is at its brightest and strongest between the hours of 11 a.m. and 2 p.m., you should try as far as possible uh, to keep your bonsai out of the sunlight between these hours. It's also important to remember that electrical items around the house give a very humid heat. They can damage not only the leaves of your bonsai, but can also dehydrate your plants or trees and eventually kill them. It's also important to alter your watering schedule to meet the demands of increased light, heat, and humidity. The fourth is fertilizing. You can also fertilize uh, or use fertilizers to help the growth of your bonsai, but it's best to use mild ones that only contain trace elements. Bon uh, trees are usually fed during the growing season to help with their growth and shouldn't be used in plants or trees during dormant growth seasons. Well, that's all for today. Uh, check the link above, and I'm going to be making dozens of more videos. So, I'll see you in the next one.